About time I finally got out of lousy Georgia. I suppose I ought to find an occupation in Harlem now. Oh, well isn't this place swanky? Welcome to Harlem's Famous Art Museum. This is a ritzy spot to learn about famous works of art from all around the world. Nice to meet you. My name is Nancy. I'm new here and looking for a job. Would you be willing to show me around? Sure. You don't seem like a dumb Dora. Let's start our tour. This is a completely authentic Impressionist piece done by Claude Monet. It's called Impression Sunrise and we flew it in from Paris yesterday. Impressionism is really in style at the moment. It's when artists use blurred techniques to convey the overall impression seen rather than the true realistic appearance. Wow, this is so swell! This next piece represented Expressionism and was done by Georgia O'Keeffe. She was an artist who promoted abstract visuals that interpreted daily objects and scenes. I've never seen such a copacetic piece of art. However, I'm not sure that visual art's my true calling. Thanks for showing me around, but I don't think I belong here. <laughs> Thanks for wasting my time. <sighs> I can't find a job. Wait, maybe, maybe literature might be my passion. Hey, I'm Elizabeth. I'm the big cheese here. This is the Harlem Library. How may I help you? Oh, perfect. Hi, big cheese. I'm Nancy. I'm looking for a new job. Could you tell me about some more about some books? Okay, hopefully you're happy enough to work here. I'll show you some of the popular pieces of literature we have. This is All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarque and has been a smashing success to all of Harlem's lyric. It's a dart because it highlights the realities of our recent tragic war by emphasizing anti-war sentiments. It got Remark kicked out of his homeland, and I dare say it was worth it. It sounds like the cat's meow. I've never been a fan of wartime myself. Would you happen to know any books about African-American struggles? I know the perfect book for you. This book, Their Eyes Are Watching God, portrays the true hardships of African-Americans faced in the deep rural South. It does not contain horse feathers. Oh, this seems wonderful, but I'm not sure if I could be content in a quiet library. Got a scram. I guess all of that talk was banana oil. Those places were fun, but I think I need a job to jazz up my life. Whoopee! Sounds like a whoopee in there. I wonder what's going on. <sighs> it's almost the end of the day and I still don't have a job. Hey, you look lost. Would you like some giggle water? Is that hooch? Welcome to the famous speakeasy in Harlem. They don't have these in Georgia. They don't have anything in Georgia. Now come along, I have something to show you. This is First Arabesque by Claude Debussy. It's an impressionistic piece that inspires listeners to imagine sounds of nature. Do you like it? Eh, it's Jake, but do you have anything else? Sure, I can show you to our concert room. Tonight someone is playing Louis Armstrong. He's the greatest trumpet player of our time. This is jazz music. Jazz music is a thriving style of music here in Harlem with this massive black population. Jazz was born out of African-American uh, slave music and also black participation in World War I. This is amazing. I love it here. I think I finally found the perfect job for me as a flapper in the heart of Harlem.
In the 1920s, many people moved from rural southern states to cities up north to escape segregation. This was known as the Great Migration. Due to this, Harlem became the most popular neighborhood for those who chose to move to New York City. In our movie, Nancy has just arrived at Harlem after her long journey from Georgia, in which she escaped due to tensions from racial segregation. In the 1920s, modern art was very popular, although many were unsure how to react to it. At the time, Impressionism was seen as a departure from the contemporary traditions of art. At the beginning of the Impressionist movement, ideals of art were looked down upon and rejected by French academic institutions that had the power to control the entire career of artists. The name of the movement was coined <coughs> when Louis Leroy, Leroy accused Monet's impression, Sunrise, of being a sketch or impression. On the other hand, Expressionism developed due to society's anxiety about its worsening relationship with the world and the increasingly common feelings of loss of authenticity and spirituality. Expressionism was a reaction against Impressionism, which sought to break away from tradition. Reading became a popular hobby when other activities were limited, as more and more people were becoming literate. This led to an increased development of books, newspapers, and magazines, which became a large part of people's daily lives. In addition, knowledge was of classic literature was considered to be an essential part of having a good education, which made it extremely valuable. This type of literature often tried to represent the daily lives of people at the time and were also heavily influenced by the aftermath of World War I. With increasing amount of writing pieces, Authors were also beginning to gain recognition for their work and win Nobel Prizes. Some of the most recognizable authors in the 1920s were F. Scott Fitzgerald, T.S. Eliot, and Ernest Hemingway. The 1920s marked America's first contribution to the world of music and was most significantly known as the Jazz Age. Jazz music originated from New Orleans. As job opportunities opened up in the North, musicians from New Orleans moved. Speakeasies gave these musicians op opportunities to perform. Jazz was largely influenced by Black culture and Black participation in World War I. Initially, jazz music was views, viewed as savage and primitive and was called the devil's music. It was not appreciated by many critics. Additionally, jazz was only circulated in majority Black neighborhoods. However, jazz music began to gain more appreciation and became increasingly popular in America. Chicago and New York City were some of the most notable of those that began to develop their own jazz culture. Many jazz songs helped solidify the image of the American dream in a time period when people rose from being poor to being the best known musicians of the time. Later on, Broadway musicals also became very popular and were a key feature to the New York City nightlife, attracting people of all kinds.